how we can use grafana grafana is another tool which is using the data generated by this prometheus and to give get another beautiful ui that you want right so go ahead and see what is grafana so this is the official page of the grafana where they have this uh, get the fauna and this open platform for beautiful analytics and monitoring system right so we can use the uh, this also grafana you can go ahead and uh, get the more information about grafana here but for our purpose i can go ahead and this get grafana and i can download it uh, for windows system and we can they can they are also hosting it and you can get online system also for our purpose i have downloaded it right and installed it right so if you go and for in with whatever is applicable you can go ahead and uh, install that for your purpose so i have installed it here if i go to this windows c and program files this grafana labs this is the place where i have installed the grafana right so to run grafana i have to you have to run this grafana server.exe right so this is in my case it is already running so i'm just running the ui right so this grafana server.exe i have run so this is all the logs that it has given you can see access denied is all the information it is giving but that is not a problem for us the things that we want as of now right so if you want to see the further logs about this startup you can go to data and you can monitor the logs here grafana logs you can get the information where it is running and how to access that so if you see the endpoint so it is running on 3000 port right local host dashboard you can get on this so if i go ahead and so let's go ahead and access the grafana portal this is the dashboard that you are getting for grafana right so this is the ui so first of all you have to add the data source which is the data source from where it is it will be feeding the data right so these are the all information graphite open tsb influx db all these the sources data sources that you can configure for the grafana and grafana can read the data from all these uh, sources right so for our purpose prometheus we are using so we are going to select this one and here i have to configure the url and other information so if you see here url it is giving so for our prometheus is running on 99 port so we have given this so whitelist cookies other information you can give so for our purpose it is sufficient so save and test this so data source is working next you can go ahead and create the dashboard so add query and here so our prometheus this url localhost 1990 is configured in dash in this dashboard now i have to put the query what i want to search for right so from here i will get the query so this information i have to take it from here and put here and press enter and this graph you are getting here right so failure rate and all other information you are getting here so you see this grafana has nice dashboard ui than this prometheus right so you are getting you can get all the resilience and all other information here so if i go here and want to see other information here right like uh, heap alloc bytes and memory allocation here so you see this ui here right so if you want it is in more nice way you can go ahead and configure this here and this information we are given so grafana is more than this right you, you can create different dashboards using this grafana and uh, monitor your application states so if you your application is production so this graph will be updating automatically uh, at particular in interval of time that you have configured right so you can monitor your application properly so this is the graph if i want to save this and all the time i do not want to enter this so i can go ahead and save this dashboard so i can name it so right so this dashboard is saved right so anytime i can come here and see right so i can create the more dashboard here right so if i want here resilience 4j related information i want 
circuit breaker state I want right so I can enter that query and press enter and it will give you the information you can go ahead and save this dashboard right and this is saved and you can filter out your you can see from here all the dashboards that you have right so this is the place right and this is the heap allocate memory that you are getting and here you are getting your resilience circuit breaker so it is all about grafana right you can create more nice dashboards from this grafana right so this was all about monitoring your system you can go ahead and create more data and see this update in real time right so i'll see you in the next video with more resilience code i wanted to cover this monitoring part because what next we are going to cover like bulk head retry and rate limiter so it is difficult to track that manually right so that data will be pushing into this grafana dashboard and micrometer will be so what we are going to see next uh, that is rate limiter retry and bulk head resilience force and other application also the data centering and monitoring that one is kind of difficult manually so we can use this micrometer along with prometheus and grafana we can get the nice ui and see that monitor that right so what fluctuation and other stuffs and we can decide on that what configuration we want to keep in our service right so that is the important part so you go ahead and play around with this and you see any issue and exception you put that in comment section i'll be happy to help you out right so see you in the next video take care bye bye